my dad said, I'm going to come to the United States. I'm going to be here working three years. And then I'm going to back, go back to Guatemala. He was coming here by halfway in Mexico. He was killed. Across the room, <laughs> if you are not from the United States. Woo, me! Oh, hey. Our students are recent immigrant English language learners from about 52 different countries. You see my country? My country is bigger. They are the American dream. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. The options are to either nurture and support and educate them or not. It was not a choice for us to come here. That's something our parents choose. Coming here is really hard. I was 10, crossing the desert by myself. We're just here on a visa and, I mean, we don't have nothing. The most difficult part is he can speak in English, you know. Absolutely nobody else speaks his language. If you hit someone and they press charges, you can go to jail. What I want to say, I have in my, my brain, but I can't speak. I can't imagine what they're going through. My dad, like he said, is the age when you were supposed to get married. I feel very nice when uh, <laughs> the children is good. They already chose the boy for me. All the normal <laughs> angsty stuff about being a teenager and trying to figure out who you are and what right and wrong is, on top of adjusting to a totally new culture. I mean, it's, it's insane. You need to realize, wherever you choose to be in this world, it's up to you. My parents want me to put a dress on prom. How am I gonna look with a dress? Something you want and you can't achieve. You just have to suffer. <laughs> A little bit different. Everybody's different here. Different nationality, different people, different dressing, culture, and all of that. I want to go back to Guatemala, but only to vacation. This heart is over there, and the body's over here.